Why is it important to tip your pizza delivery driver? Let's follow one on a series of deliveries to the same customer who doesn't tip. We'll just call him Pete. Well, that was fast. Uh-oh. No tip. Pete looks pretty disappointed. Delivery 2. Here we go again. Let's see if we can notice a difference in Pete's behavior this time. Oh. Looks like Pete remembers this no-tipper. Well, there he goes. Wait. What's he doing? Oh, he's going to stop to chat with the fellow driver for a second. But he's supposed to be here. He seems to be in no hurry to get to this customer. And that pizza's going to get cold sitting in the back of his truck. Customer's still waiting. Oh, come on, Pete. What could you possibly be talking about that's so interesting? Finally. Looks like Mr. no -tip did it again, and Pete's a little upset. Here we go, Mr. no -tip's third delivery. Hey, it looks like Pete has decided to forgive and forget. He didn't throw the pizza in the back this time. Way to go, Pete. Customer service is job one. Oh no, Pete! Don't eat the guy's pizza! Okay, Mr. no -tip. here's most of your pizza. Stiffed again. It would probably be in this guy's best interest if he didn't order again. Delivery 4. Unfortunately, Mr. no -tip didn't take my advice. Go ahead, Pete. Throw it in the back of the truck. This can't be good. I wonder what Pete's up to this time. Oh, Pete, no. You can't. Oh, Pete, that's not right. We get the message. You don't want this guy to order ever again. Oh, yeah, that's real nice, Pete. Good parking job. What's that? Mr. no -tip said keep the change. He wants it, Pete. Are you going to give it to him? Better think fast, Pete. And look, he's not even mad. He just thinks you're crazy. No promise to make it up to him. Offer him free breadsticks and soda and get out of there. I hope everyone has learned something from this. The moral is, Customers, don't stiff your pizza drivers, and drivers, don't pee on people's food.